Do you want to stop living paycheck to paycheck and get out of debt? Or maybe you've already passed that and you want to start saving and investing. Could you help me out with something else? Please spare me just 10,000 won. In today's video, I will share with you all my tips on how to save money on all expenses. So if you want to reduce unnecessary spending and get out of debt, save money and build your investment portfolio, make sure you watch this video till the end. I had $20,000 in student loan and credit card debt. I was making around 60 grand a year and living paycheck to paycheck. That's when I decided to turn my finances around and get out of debt. I spent the first year binge watching frugal living, minimalist living, Dave Ramsey inspired channels, how to save money and get out of debt videos. This helped me save over 50% of my income and get out of debt in less than one year. All the tips I've learned will be compacted into this one video. So no need to watch countless videos with tips you've already learned from the last video. This video will be the ultimate guide to reduce all expenses in your budget including housing transportation groceries etc and make sure you watch till the end for one of the biggest expenses if you're just looking for strategies on how to help you save check out this video up here but to sum it up pay yourself first do a no spend challenge set goals get another source of income change your habits and mindset avoid lifestyle creep make a budget and don't just save put your money to work other saving strategies include delayed gratification create sinking funds spend according to your income and choose a partner with the same values. Now this video will be long, so I'll leave chapters so you can jump to a certain category. And this video will be rapid fire, so to make this video shorter, I'll leave extra information on the screen. Let's get into it. Probably your biggest expense is housing. Let's start with renters. If you're renting, the cheapest option would be to move in with your parents or family for a discount on rent or free living. If this isn't possible, the next best thing to do is get a roommate, so you can share the costs of rent and also utilities. You can also rent out storage or a parking space. Downsize. Your space may be bigger than you need. Downsizing will be cheaper on rent, cheaper on electricity, and less space means less room for decor, clutter, and junk. Live in a cheaper area like the outskirts of town or in less desired neighborhoods. This way you can get more bang for your buck or have cheaper rent. Negotiate for cheaper rent. If you're already renting and you like your place, it doesn't hurt to negotiate for cheaper rent. Some landlords will reduce your rent if you're a good tenant. Signing a lease. When you sign a lease, you show commitment and become a more trustworthy tenant. The landlord may give you a discount if you sign a lease, especially if it's long term. If you're looking for a new place to rent, the best deals are in the winter. So you might get a discount or your current landlord may reduce your rent so you stay. And if possible, when looking for a place, try to cut out the middleman agent. They usually take a cut of the rent so you can pass that savings on to you. Trade work for rent. If you're a handy person or can offer a valuable service, exchange work for rent. Don't lose your damage deposit. Let your landlord know if any maintenance needs to be done as soon as possible and keep the place clean. Renting also automatically saves you money over owning. No property taxes, no no maintenance or repairs, and no house insurance. Now what about people who own their house or are looking to buy? Get a mortgage broker. These brokers will search around for the best interest rates and give you the lowest mortgage payment. Cut out the real estate agent and buy directly from the seller. On the other hand, a real estate agent can help you negotiate and find the best deals. Use the first time home buyer's plan or other government assistance to have a higher down payment and ultimately reduce your mortgage payment. Avoid paying mortgage insurance by putting down 20%. Skip mortgage life insurance if your employer already has a plan in place. Term life insurance is cheaper than whole life insurance. You you may also reduce your mortgage payment by getting the longest term possible or refinancing your mortgage. House insurance. Shop around for house insurance or combine with your auto insurance provider for a discount. And it may be possible to pay in full for the year for a discount as well. And don't get more insurance than you need or coverage you don't need. Like you don't need earthquake or hurricane insurance if that doesn't happen in your area. Home maintenance and repairs. Take care of your home and do the proper maintenance to avoid repairs down the line. Do your own repairs or renovations. You can learn how to do all kinds of simple repairs on YouTube to save you tons of money and if you can't do it ask a friend for help or do it for a discount and if that's not possible shop around for the best deals and ask for a cash discount property tax when buying a home also consider the property tax and figure out which areas have the lowest property tax some areas may not even have property tax if you already have a home when doing any renovations or construction just be aware your property tax can go up and depending on your province you might get a property tax exemption so check with your province for the conditions electricity and water Stop 
stop wasting your electricity. Your biggest contributor is heating and cooling. Replace your outdated heating and cooling with a heat pump or natural gas. They aren't cheap upfront, but they will save you money in the long run. Get a heat stove or fireplace. Depending where you live, you can cut your own wood or buy wood and heat your house for even cheaper than the heat pump. Make sure your house is properly insulated with Energy Star windows and doors. Use seal, caulk, and weather stripping for drafts. Make sure your walls and ceiling are properly insulated. Get a smart thermostat and reduce your heat as much as comfortably possible. If you're comfortable not wearing a shirt in your house, your house is too warm. Turn down the heat and throw a sweater on. Maintain your HVAC furnace or heat pump by changing the filters regularly to maintain their efficiency. Use fans instead of AC units or even just open a window in the summer. Properly use ceiling fans clockwise in the summer and counterclockwise in the winter. Don't block heaters with furniture. Open your curtains during the day and close them when the sun goes down. Buy energy efficient curtains. Close off unused rooms and closet doors. Use plastic film over windows and doors you're not using. Use a heating blanket instead of heating the whole room. Keep your oven open after using it. Turn the heat down when you leave for longer periods of time, and maintaining the proper humidity can affect the temperature, so get a humidifier or dehumidifier if needed. Depending on your energy provider, there might be off-peak hour rates where electricity is cheaper during these hours. Find them out and do things like laundry, showering, and cooking during these hours. Turn down your hot water boiler to the lowest recommended setting. Take shorter showers. Take a shower instead of having a bath. Use a low-flow shower head. Air dry your hair instead of blow dry. Wash clothes in cold water. No need to wash clothes close after one use, do dishes manually or set the dishwasher to air dry, keep the water off when brushing your teeth, washing your hands, etc. Use a rain barrel for watering your garden and washing your car, put a full 2 liter bottle of water in your toilet tank, only do full loads of laundry and full loads in the dishwasher. Keep your fridge and freezer full as possible. You can add items like bottled water or ice cubes to keep them full. Set your fridge to the lowest recommended setting, keep the fridge and freezer door closed as much as possible and periodically clean the coils in the back. Instead of using Using the dryer, get a dryer rack and a clothesline. Keep dryer vents and traps clean as possible. Use dryer balls and use a dry towel with every load to reduce dry time. Use the right size pot or pan for the right burner size. Don't boil more water than you need. Turn your oven off early. Use a toaster oven for smaller foods instead of the full size oven. Use timers so you don't overcook. And use the microwave instead of the oven when possible. Also slow cookers, instapots and pressure cookers are more efficient than the stove. Replace all light bulbs with LEDs. Turn off lights when not in use. Use task lighting. Unplug appliances when not in use. Turn off power bars when not in use. Use timers and smart switches to have items automatically shut off. Use motion sensor lights instead of having lights on outside all night long. Use the sun for light during the day. Barbecue more in the summer. Turn TVs, game consoles, and computers off standby mode and turn off completely. Invest in solar panels, wind turbines, and water turbines if possible. And as far as I know, the Triangle MasterCard is the only credit card that will give you cash back for paying utility bills. The next category is transportation. Don't buy a new vehicle. New vehicles may have the lowest interest rates, but in the end will cost you the most. Most of the depreciation will happen in the first two to five years, so buy it used after that. If your interest rate is higher, it's possible to get a lower interest rate if you use a line of credit. And ask yourself, is this vehicle known to be reliable, good resale value, cost for parts and maintenance, and is this vehicle exactly what I need? If you don't need a truck or SUV, buy a sedan or coupe. This way you can save lots of money in gas, maintenance, and repairs. If you're someone with a newer vehicle, a beater car might be able to save you money. You would need to run the numbers to see if a beater car makes sense. Usually it's for someone with a longer commute to work. On the other hand, you and your partner may drive your own vehicles. Consider consolidating to one vehicle if possible. And if you really want to save money, buy a Honda or Toyota that's at least 10 years old with cash so you don't have a car payment. Try to look for a great deal on a used car, buy it, drive it for a year or two, and sell it for what you paid for or close to it, and repeat. For car insurance, get multiple quotes and try to increase your deductible for a lower monthly payment. Also, some insurance providers will give you a discount if you pay in full or combine with multiple plans. And to keep your insurance as low as possible, don't get any tickets. Gas. So obviously, it's best to drive a vehicle that's the most fuel efficient and can satisfy your other needs. You can also drive more efficiently. Don't follow too close. The more you gotta press the break, the more gas you will waste. And take advantage of coasting. If a light is going to turn red or you're approaching a stop sign, don't give it gas and just coast to a stop. And don't go crazy on the acceleration. Steadily bring your car up to speed and try to keep your RPMs around 2000 when driving. The higher the RPMs, the more gas you will burn. Keep filters clean, keep tires properly inflated, get rid of excess weight, and remove cargo, kayak, and bike racks when not in use. You may already know how to get to your destination, but using a GPS can find you the most efficient way. And depending 
depending on your vehicle, a city route might be better or a highway route may be better. If you're idling more than a minute, turn off your vehicle. Buy your gas at Costco and also buy your propane there. Then combine that with the Costco MasterCard or the Tangerine MasterCard for 2% cash back on gas. And stock up on gas by filling up those jerry cans. The more gas you can get at once will make the trip to Costco more worth it. Try commuting to work earlier than usual to beat the traffic. Plus, if you're not in a rush, you won't speed. And speeding burns more gas. Plan your routes and combine weekly tasks accordingly. Do your own maintenance, repairs, and wash your car yourself. Changing your oil or switching your tires over and many other maintenance and repairs are easy to do and can be learned from a simple YouTube video. Other ways to save on transportation is carpooling, walking, or biking, or use public transportation. The next category is groceries. Before you go grocery shopping, plan your meals for the week. Check the flyers for deals and plan your meals around them. Shop your pantry first. You may have items you didn't realize you already have or that might be expiring soon. So also plan your meals around items that are expiring soon. Always check the expiry date before buying anything. Grocery stores usually rotate fresher items behind them. Limit your grocery shopping to once a week. Bring a list and have yourself a good meal before you go. Meat is expensive so try to have one meatless supper a week. Only buy produce that's in season and buy generic. Shop at discounted grocery stores like No Frills, Fresco, or Walmart. Buy in bulk, but check to make sure you can eat it before it expires and double check to see if bulk is cheaper. It's not always cheaper. Stockpile items went on sale, so when you need it, you're not paying full price for it. Not only for food, but things like toilet paper, laundry soap, cat litter, and whatnot. Buy a food sealer and get a deep freezer. Buying things in bulk will last much longer with a food sealer and sticking them in a deep freeze. And when you have leftovers, you can also seal and freeze these meals for a quick and easy feed. Or maybe even double the recipe and freeze what you don't eat. This is great for things like shepherd's pie, casseroles, or lasagna. You can also recreate leftovers leftovers. For example, have turkey dinner, hot turkey sandwiches, then turkey soup. Clean your fridge out regularly so you are aware of your inventory and nothing goes bad. Also, properly store your food to prevent early spoiling, like dairy in the coldest area of the fridge and fruits and vegetables with the proper humidity and temperature. Every food item will have its own ideal storage, so look up each one and find the best area. Don't waste money on pre-cooked or pre-chopped foods, and making them from scratch can also be cheaper. Buy coffee grounds instead of K-cups, make your own bread, grow your own vegetables, make your own compost with food scraps, make a chicken coop, raise your own cattle or pigs, hunt for moose, deer, duck, and fish, get a Brita filter and use a reusable cup and don't buy bottled water. Go easy on processed foods, junk food like pop, juice, chips, and chocolate, and definitely don't buy them at a gas station or convenience store. Use cloth napkins instead of paper towels. Use a bidet instead of toilet paper. Make your own hand soap, laundry soap, and cleaning products, or use a multi-purpose cleaner instead of buying multiple products. And lastly, buying groceries online can save you money because you can see how much you are spending as you add it to your cart, but on the other hand, there might be a price markup or receive items that expire soon. Get 3% cash back on groceries with the Triangle World Elite MasterCard. Now on to takeout food. Just don't buy it or limit yourself to once a week. Learn how to cook. Make your own coffee at home and bring a thermos for more. Make your own lunch at home and bring leftovers to work. When out in a boat, bring snacks and water so you're not tempted to get takeout. But what if you don't have time to cook? That's where those frozen leftovers come in. You can also buy frozen meals like a pizza to get you out of buying takeout and there's plenty of meals that you can make in less than 30 minutes, which might be quicker than driving and waiting for takeout. If you do get takeout, don't use meal delivery services like skip the dishes, you can expect to pay a markup on the food plus delivery fee and tip. Get takeout at more affordable places and some places will have deals on certain days. Use coupons and combine them with cashback apps like Ampli or Drop. Download apps like the Tim Hortons or McDonald's app for deals and discounts and use a credit card with good cash back on takeout like the One Simply Financial offers. Make sure you get all the extra condiments and napkins you can and check the receipt for any surveys for free food. Pets. The main thing with pets is to keep them healthy and on a proper diet. Medical costs for pets can be the most expensive expense. Also consider pets that have less medical issues. For example, mixed breed dogs tend to live longer and have less medical issues. Maybe even consider getting pet insurance for certain breeds. For things like pet food and litter, consider buying in bulk when on sale. And any other items you need for your pet should be considered ahead of time to buy at the best price. And some stores will be cheaper than others, so consider your options. You might be able to find what you're looking for at the dollar store. As for buying pets, Pets, skip the full breed designer dog and check out your local SBCA. These pets are much more affordable and may already be spayed or neutered, have their shots and are already trained. Cut your pet's nails regularly and learn to groom them yourself. Medical and dental. Ask to switch to generic brands. Save on meds through your medical insurance 
your employer may provide. Also, your spouse may have insurance too, and these insurance policies may be combined for more savings. There may also be assistance programs in your province where you can save on medication. Healthcare in Canada may be free, but it's far from perfect and can still cost you. A health condition may prevent you from working and properly providing for your family. Your health is your most valuable asset, so keep yourself healthy and get regular checkups, have a healthy diet, and exercise regularly. Monthly or annual subscriptions. Instead of buying a new phone, buy a used phone with cash and find a cheaper cell phone provider like Public Mobile. With Public Mobile, you can actually get your phone bill reduced to free. Ditch cable and ditch the home phone. Just get internet and get the cheapest unlimited package. And just upgrade the speeds if you need faster internet. If you live in a multi-unit property, ask your neighbor if they want to share their Wi-Fi for a fee. Threaten to leave the subscription for a discount and always look for discounts when getting subscriptions. Go through your bank statements and make sure you're not paying for any subscriptions you don't use anymore. Maybe like an app, Xbox or PlayStation, Apple Cloud Storage, Computer Antivirus, Spotify, etc. Reevaluate the subscription you do use and decide whether it's worth the money. Consider canceling a gym membership and make a home gym. A lot of workouts can be done with just body weight or a set of resistance bands or keep fit by jogging, sports or other outdoor activities. Cancel your Equifax or TransUnion credit monitoring. Barwell and Credit Karma can do it for free. Cancel your home security subscription and get a self-monitoring system like Lorex. Share Netflix, Disney Plus and other media streaming services if possible. Get Spotify, Netflix and Amazon Prime for free by getting the Crypto.com Visa. Cancel subscription boxes and subscription meals because they're a waste of money. Get roadside assistance for free with the no annual fee Triangle World Elite MasterCard. Get phone insurance for free with the no annual fee Tangerine World MasterCard and skip getting the extended warranty because most credit cards offer purchase security and extended protection insurance. And get 2% cash back on reoccurring bill payments with Tangerine MasterCard. For Costco membership, always look for a bonus when signing up. Only sign up for the Costco Executive Membership if you spend over $3,000 a year at Costco, not including gas. Bringing your friends and family can help. Or just go to Costco with a family or friend who has a membership. The next category is entertainment. Find free entertainment. Check your city's Facebook page for any free events happening. Follow your favorite activities on social media for discounts and special events. Go to the movies on discount night. Other places will usually do this too, usually midweek. Check websites like Groupon for discounts. Check to see if there's a group discount, student discount, or any other discounts that may apply to you. Bring your own snacks and drinks to places like movie theaters, water parks, amusement parks, and sporting events. Check out your local library for free books, movies, games, and music. Get yourself a cheap hobby that keeps you fit, jogging, hiking, kayaking, etc. Get discounted gift cards at Costco for local activities or restaurants. Get the tonight special at restaurants. Skip the overpriced drinks and just get water. Skip the overpriced dessert and share an entree. But whatever you do, don't skip the tip to save money. Restaurants are generally two to five times more expensive than eating at home, so consider having a date night at home. And instead of going to a restaurant with friends, have a potluck at the house. And instead of going to the bar, invite some friends over for a few cold ones. And if you are going to the bar or club, going on certain nights or certain times may have free cover or discounted drinks. Always ask for the night special before ordering any drinks. If you're going to the casino, always have a set budget on what you're willing to lose. Gambling is a waste of money, so avoid making it a habit, but it can still be a form of entertainment. Speaking of bad habits, drinking, smoking, etc., quitting these bad habits can save you a significant amount of money. And once again, the Tangerine MasterCard can offer you 2% cash back on entertainment costs and the Simply Visa for 4% on restaurant purchases. For traveling, look for flights in incognito mode, use discount airlines, collect travel points, do credit card churning for a big sign-up bonus, get travel insurance from the AMAX Simply Cash Card, and get free airport lounge access, travel off-season, and pack light for no baggage fees. Get an Airbnb instead of a hotel. If you're a member of a union or a certain profession, you may have a discount at certain hotels. Hotels. Get free car rental insurance and discounted car rentals from no annual fee credit cards. Take pictures instead of buying souvenirs and check out sites like Travel Advisor or Groupon for discounts on travel. Grooming and beauty. Cut your own hair, dye your own hair, get your partner or friend to cut your hair, pick a low maintenance haircut. When getting a haircut, skip the shampoo and hair drying. Do your own nails, wear less makeup, buy makeup at Walmart instead of higher end stores, buy dupes, use period underwear or a diva cup, get your hair or nails done 
by students in training centers. This also applies for pet grooming, dental work, auto mechanic work, and more. Get free makeup samples, skip high-end salons and try someone who's just starting out, stick with one hairstyle, use alternatives like coconut oil, keep a healthy diet for better skin, use sites and apps like Drop and Swagbucks for cash back, don't waste money on perfume and cologne, buy bars of soap instead of body wash, buy safety razors instead of buying disposable razors. Baby and children costs. Have a gender reveal, baby shower, and diaper party on the cheap. These events can offer up a lot of gifts and diapers. Don't stock up on diapers or clothes. Buy clothes and diapers as they grow. Don't buy too many bottles before the baby gets to try them. Don't buy too many newborn clothes. They might come out not being able to fit in them already. And it's hard to predict what size they will take in the upcoming seasons. Get free hand-me-downs from friends and family, or even just borrow clothes and toys if they plan to have another. Check Facebook Marketplace for bags of clothes and boxes of toys and books for a big discount. Sometimes you're able to get it for free. Babies don't fit in clothes for long, so most clothing will be like new. Use cloth diapers, consider breastfeeding, making your own baby food, and baby led weaning. Sign up for free samples and coupons and use different emails to sign up for more samples and coupons. Resell baby items as they grow out of them. Make sure you get the right funding and any government assistance programs you qualify for. This includes childcare and breastfeeding. Start your search for childcare early for the best prices and secure a spot. Do babysitting exchanges with family and friends for free babysitting. Consider working from home even if it's with a pay cut if it outweighs the cost of childcare. Join local mom and dad groups on Facebook for good tips and support. Check your local community for parks, free events, free camp, sports, or activities for children. It might be cheaper to get a season pass in places that you visit multiple times. Take advantage of free government grants for education in an RESP account. Start an RESP account early and invest to take advantage of compound interest. Teach your children about money and delayed gratification as soon as they're old enough and learn to say no. The next category is wants and needs. This is anything from clothing, toys, tech, gadget, tools, home decor, furniture, kitchen appliances, recreational vehicles, and much, much more. Before you buy anything, distinguish whether it's a want or a need. Needs are something you absolutely can't do without, and a want is something you can do without. Make sure you can afford your needs before you decide to buy your wants. Before you buy anything, ask yourself, do you really need it? If it's not a hell yes, then it's a hell no. How often will you use it? Can you just borrow one? Will it be cheaper to rent it? Can you buy it used? Does it go on sale? Is it better to buy quality over a cheaper price? Can I get a discount? If you're a student, get an SPC card. Can I get a cash discount? Can I use a cashback app or a cashback site to save more? Can I price match? Before you buy any wants or needs, compare prices and read reviews. Put it on a list and sleep on it. After 24 hours, you may realize you don't want or need this item. Put it on a wish list and share it with friends and family for gift ideas. When shopping online, add items to your cart and sit on it. Companies may even try to reduce the price for you to get you to buy it. Unsubscribe to emails and notifications about deals to remove the temptation to spend. Also, removing shopping apps like Amazon off your phone. Don't automatically save credit card information on websites. Consider a minimalist lifestyle. Sell and declutter things in your life that don't bring you value and only buy items that bring you true value. Build a capsule wardrobe. Only buy new clothes to replace old and worn clothes. Go commando. Try buying used clothes. Learn how to sew to repair clothes. Don't buy fast fashion. Pay for quality over quantity and don't fall for luxurious brands. Price tag doesn't always mean quality. Buy tools with multiple use. Buy tools for DIY instead of hiring someone. No need to buy commercial grade tools or equipment if you're not using them every day and rent tools if you only need them once. Don't buy the newest tech. Wait a few years before deciding to get the newest phone. If you're not a vlogger, YouTuber, professional photographer, or video editor, there's no need to get the top of the line computer, phone, laptop, camera, etc. Stick to what you actually need, which will most likely be the cheaper option. Don't buy home decor for every season and holiday. Buy decor that can be relevant for all seasons. If you're buying seasonal decor, buy them off season. Buy Valentine's Day after Valentine's Day, Easter stuff after Easter, and Christmas stuff after Christmas. Avoid one trick ponies in the kitchen like an apple corer or a garlic press. Help a friend move. Usually they will have stuff they are willing to give away for free, then deal with the hassle of moving it. Dumpster dive. Get free stuff on Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji. Check yard sales and flea markets for great deals or even start your own yard sale and get rid of some 
some of that junk. Learn to fix something broken before trying to replace it or get it professionally repaired if it saves money. Repurpose items like instead of buying storage totes, use cardboard boxes. Tupperware, use food containers. Dish rags, use old clothes. Garbage bags, use plastic grocery bags. Binder clips for chip bags. And lastly, try the zero waste lifestyle. Don't waste money on paper plates and plastic cutlery. Use containers instead of sandwich bags. Use reusable masks instead of disposable and wear glasses instead of contacts. As for gifts, be creative and it's the thought that counts. When you put thought into your gift, it's much more meaningful than just buying something expensive. Gift cards are a great way to make sure your gift is not wasted. Make a gift, offer a service, or do a nice gesture. Ask the person what they want. It's a waste of money giving a gift someone doesn't use. As for receiving gifts, asking for gift cards is the best choice and don't be afraid to sell or get rid of a gift you don't use. Don't lend money to friends and family. Try to stay away from mooches. Don't forget to return items, even if it's only a few dollars. And don't shop because you're bored. As for cash back on needs and wants, either consider the no annual fee Simply Cash Amex with 1.25% cash back on everything or the Crypto.com Visa for two or more percent cash back on everything. The next category is one my channel teaches you all about, your personal finances. Ditch the brick and mortar bank and get a no fee checking account. Simply or Tangerine being the two best options. Ditch the annual fee credit card and get multiple no annual fee cards. Stop paying ATM fees. Either get cash from your bank's ATM or carry cash in your wallet. Stop paying overdraft and NSF fees. Always keep a percent of your emergency fund in your checking account. Stop paying e-transfer fees. Simply and Tangerine have free unlimited e-transfers. Stop paying for foreign exchange fees. Use a card with no FX fees like the Stack MasterCard. Stop paying credit card interest. If you can't pay your balance in full, that means you can't afford it. If you do pay credit card interest, ask them to lower your interest or switch your balance to another credit card with a lower interest and repeat until it's all paid off. A lot of credit cards will offer a much lower interest rate when you're transferring a balance. If you have lots of debt, consider consolidating to a lower interest rate. You may also be able to negotiate how much you got to pay back and pay back less. Ditch the financial advisor and mutual funds and consider DIY investing or robo advisors. Stop paying for commission fees. Use a commission free brokerage like Wealth Simple, National Bank or Desjardins. Use Norbit's Gambit to avoid paying so much in exchange fees. Annual fees for brokerage can usually be waived with a certain balance or a certain amount of trades. If you're a student, you may be able to get discounts at your brokerage. Also, when transferring assets, it's possible to get the fee reimbursed. When trading crypto, check out all my reviews to see which option makes the most sense for you. The cheapest option for one person may be expensive for another, but generally Newton, Virgo CX, and Index are the cheapest. Don't pay for budgeting apps when some companies offer for free, like Coho and Tangerine. Don't pay to fix your credit score. You can get the Home Trust secured visa with no annual fee. And if you want to check your credit score for free, check out Borrowell and Credit Karma. And don't buy courses that teach you to become debt free, make money in the stock, crypto, real estate market, or start your own online business doing Amazon selling or some get rich quick 99 percent of this information can be found on YouTube for free. You just got to put in the work and find it. Now, one of the biggest expenses everyone seems to forget, taxes. First of all, don't pay for your tax return. You can do your T1 tax return online for free with companies like Wolf Simple. But if you're incorporated, you won't be able to do it yourself. So make sure you use a proper accountant to get the best return possible. Take advantage of tax-free growth by holding your investments in a TFSA and defer paying taxes on income by contributing to your RRSP. You can also defer taxes with an RESP. Make sure you aren't missing out on deductions like union dues, first time home buyer, eligible medical expenses, donations, moving expenses, energy saving upgrades, working from home, and many, many more. A platform like Wealth Simple Tax can help you with seeing if you qualify for these deductions and rebates. The best tax deductions are unlocked when you start a business. A sole proprietorship home business can unlock many deductions, and a full on corporation can benefit even more with deductions. And finally, pay your taxes by the deadline to avoid paying interest. These tips can save you thousands of dollars a year, and saving money can also save you money. Once you pay off your debt, no more debt payments and interest charge. Now the money you usually put towards your debt can be put towards investments and let your money make money. Saving $1 today isn't just $1. In 7 years, it can be $2 if invested. And if you can manage to save $500 a month and invest in an S&P 500 ETF, in 10 years, you will have $103,000. If you try doing all these tips and you still can't save enough to pay off your debt, you don't have a spending problem, you have an income problem. If I missed any important tips, share them with us in the comment section below and let me know which tip is your favorite. If you want to continue learning, check out one of the videos on the right of the screen. Thanks for watching till the end. Until next time, keep making money moves. Peace.